and welcome back to the three minute devour this week's portion is parashat toldot in last week's portion we were told that abraham sent his trusted servant eliezer to find a soulmate for his son isaac El- eliezer was successful and he found rebecca rebecca was a girl who was kind and generous and deeply cared about other people and Eliezer knew that she would be the perfect match for Isaac, who came from a home of kindness and generosity and deep care and concern for others. He brings Rebecca back with him to Isaac. Rebecca and Isaac get married, but they're not blessed with children straight away. They have to wait a few years before they are granted a child. They plead and they pour their hearts out to God to bless them with a child. And uh, years later, they are uh, at the beginning of this week's portion, Rebecca falls pregnant. But she feels something very strange about her pregnancy. She senses that this child inside of her, this fetus inside of her, has a strong urge and desire for spirituality, for wisdom, for doing the right thing, for living a life of morality and of values. But she also feels that this same child seems to have an urge in the complete opposite direction. She feels that this child has a strong impulse for idol worship, for paganism, for everything that is not spiritual, a life completely devoid of spirituality, and she's confused as to what's going on. She goes and inquires from God as to how this makes any sense, and the answer comes back from God that these, this child inside of you is not one, but it's two. You're pregnant with twins. One of those twins is going to be someone who is in the pursuit of godliness and wisdom and spirituality, and the other one is going to be going for the opposite. But she's also told, One shall become stronger from the other. One regime shall become stronger from the other. The great medieval commentator Rashi explains this in the following way. They shall not not be equal in greatness. When one rises, the other one falls. As it says in Ezekiel, I will fill myself from the ruin. The city Tyre, the Roman city Tyre from the descendants of Esau was filled with the ruins of Jerusalem. Whilst this is true in the physical sense, in the literal sense, I believe the rabbis are alluding to something much deeper than this too. Esau represents might, power and materialism. Jacob represents spirituality, wisdom and godliness. God is telling Rebecca that in a spiritual sense, these two can't possibly coexist. The pursuit of one will always come at the expense of the other. And whilst materialism isn't all bad, whilst Judaism doesn't preach aestheticism, still, the pursuit of one will come at the expense of the other. And in short, one can't have their spirituality and eat it. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom, a spiritually uplifting Shabbat, and a great week ahead.